Thank you, ma'am. All right, good job. I don't know if that goes on the camera lens or not. <laughs> there we go. All right. She is soaking. We will hop down, baby. Is this a wipe? All right. Okie dokie, I have two doggies here today. I have this little girl, Pip, and her sister over here. She's a little bit anxious, so she's just chilling for the minute, and we're gonna go ahead and get Pip all sorted. Um, I did start to wash her, but then I stopped and remembered I had to put this on, so here we are. Um, ha. All right, so GoPro is new to me, and hopefully I have this angle kind of worked out right, fingers crossed, we'll see what happens, hey? Okie dokie. Put this on my little noggin here and we can go ahead and get this little baby de shed. So, I have never <clears throat> groomed her before. She is anxious. I know this. Down you get, bub. Come on, get down. Hopefully not a biter or a total crocodile. We'll see how we go. She does have prickles and she's in desperate need of de shedding. So, we're going to go ahead and get her all cleaned up. She does have prickles, she's got grass seeds, a large amount of excess hair. I am using my Petway Pink Everyday Shampoo and um, D-Shed Shampoo. So I'm not too fussed at the minute about getting all the hair out, I just want to get her wet and soaking in a shampoo and try and settle her into having a bath. Pip, you're okay, baby. Thank you, ma'am. All right, good job. I don't know if that goes on the camera lens or not. There we go. Okay, darling. No more shaking, no. You need to get soaking wet. So, so far the hair is not dropping at all. Which makes me think we're not going to have too much success at getting her de-shed in the bath. Which is generally the way I like to de-shed dogs, so. It could be interesting, but we will see how we go. Alright, so she is not in a rush to drop any of this hair. I'm just going to get her as soaked up as I can and then leave her sit for five minutes and see what happens when we come back to her. Alright, she is soaking. We will hop down, baby. Is this a wipe? All right. I'll we'll pause this and come back in five minutes after she's had a nice soak and we'll see what happens then. Okie dokie, she has had a soak for a few minutes so we will come back. Um, sorry love. Good girl, good girl. So still with our shampoo and we will just have a look and see if any of this hair wants to move now. It might be that the blow dryer or the brush is the only way we're going to get it out. Which is how it's looking. Alright, definitely not looking promising for one of those super, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Satisfying, super satisfying de shedding videos. Not one of those, but that is okay. We are still going to go through and get her all clean. 
and see what comes of it. You're okay, my love. Jeez Louise. Saw that shaking really necessary, Missy. So many prickles in here. Lots of prickles, few knots. Good golly, Miss Molly. Where'd I put my towel? Over here. Oop, that's not gonna work for me. Turn that off. Oh, there we go. All right, now I'm gonna turn you around, Missy. And you actually have to stay turned around so I can do your other side. No, 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 down you get. I'm already wet, I don't need to be any more wet. The last two doggies made me a mess. Oh my goodness, Missy. Come on, turn around. Good girl. Oh, come on. Good girl, stay there. Stay there. Good girl. t-shirts on doggies and if I persisted this way um, we might eventually see some more hair come out but it's very time consuming and not worth it when we can just move on to the next method which is the blow dryer followed by the brush and the de-shedding rates and things like that So for now, the focus will be just to get her coat as clean as we can. And whatever comes out in the meantime is awesome. feel good. Hey, yeah, see, that's not so bad. It's nice having a wash. You're gonna be so pretty. probably full of it in the sump. Loosen that down now. My trusty conditioner. Um, everybody's got different ways of doing this. Some people have their conditioner already like pre-mixed with water, diluted. Um, I don't like the way it sits, so I just put a bit in my little jug. Put some water in and put it over my doggy. Get down, please. Good girl. I'm not conditioning her all over. She doesn't need it. This will flow through. So I don't know if you can see all the little prickles and grass seeds everywhere. Uh, some will come out in here, some will come out with the blow dryer and the rest will be removed either with brushing 
or um, I'll have to cut them out. I can't get them out nicely without causing her any discomfort. Good, gotcha. I am gonna let her shake off some of that water and I'll be back with a happy hoodie and maybe a cone just to help her settle in with the blow drying. I suspect that she'll be really flighty when I turn that on. So uh, we can try and reduce some of her um, fight or flight responses or any prey drives from the air movement. We'll give that a go and hopefully she's uh, not too upset when we go to blow dry her. So we'll be back in a minute. Okay. So she did not shake off any of her water, but that's fine. So this is called a happy hoodie. It is just like an elasticy, stretchy thing. And it is going to go over her little head here. We're going to tuck down her ears. And what that will do, um, it will reduce some of the noise from the blow dryer. Um, but it'll also protect her ears from having the wind blow in them, which can sometimes trigger like a prey drive response where they want to snap at whatever is coming near them. Um, that will slow that down a little bit as well. So there's a little ears in there. And this is just a soft tone. It's well used. Goodness me, probably need to get a spare. Um, and the reason for that is again, I want to just eliminate her prey response. I don't want her to try and um, attack the blow dryer. I want her to just stay calm. So this is going to block her view from all the movement that's going on and hopefully just keep her calm. So do I know how she's going to respond to the blow dryer? No, I haven't done this before with her. Um, either she'll be super calm and just chill and take it or she will be super scared and carry on and flip around like a little crocodile. So um, because she was so flighty and jumpy when I turned the water on, I suspect that she'll be the same way with the blow dryer. So for that reason, we're just going to start her off as nicely as we can and sort of hope for the best. Uh, blow dryer is loud. I will probably get my darling husband to edit out the volume. So I'm just going to start with no nozzle um, and see how she goes with that. So as we can see, um, her coat is beautiful and clean. It's coming up nice and shiny, um, which means we've probably got a lot of her undercoat out already and she just didn't have that much shedding to come out. And she's got a nice thick coat. So I am going to move her over to the table here where this little darling is sitting and I'm gonna move her somewhere else and I'll pop back for the rest of her groom. Okie dokie. So, Miss. Tilly is over there chilling on a blanket. Um, normally when I've got two dogs together, I would just let the second dog roam around sort of freely. It's only a small space, uh, but Tilly is quite anxious. So just for my safety, where there's unpredictable or not really as readable behavior as I'd like, I'm just gonna keep her over there. She's got a bit of space. She can move around in a blanket and we'll be here just getting Pippo finished up. Um, and then, uh, then it'll be Miss Tilly's turn. Yeah, so she's comfortable and she can sit there and chill. All right, let's get back to blow drying. Yeah, we're gonna do this one now. Good girl. Oops, I stood on the hose. My bad. 
Okie dokie, so she is really nice and dry on top and her booty and underneath. The legs are not 100% dried, which is fine. She doesn't like it, I'm not gonna persist with it. She doesn't even like having them touched, which is concerning for how we're gonna get them prickles out. Yes, it is. I'm not excited about brushing your legs. No, I'm not. So I'm going to leave this on. And my other red loop is on Miss Tilly over there, which isn't very helpful, but that's okay. So I'm going to put this on. Yes, I am. Nice and tight. I'm gonna put that there. And I'm gonna take this one, making sure that they are crossed so that if she pulls, they don't slip off her little noggin and put it there. And then I'm gonna take this baby. Oh, I'm a bit short and put him there. So, I mean, I groom a lot of big dogs and lots of anxious dogs and bitey dogs and all that sort of stuff. So I generally just don't stuff around um, with waiting to see how the dog's gonna behave. I just do what I know is safe for me and safe for the dog. Will avoid me getting any nippy nips. And uh, if she shows me that she's comfortable um, with what I'm doing, then I can take away some of the things that are in place. Uh, that is just detangler for dogs. Cause she's naughty in her booty. Yes, you are. We're gonna do some brushes. Okay. So this is a um, detangling um, slicker. I'm gonna use that first. So hopefully this will pull lots of those little prickles. It will, oh, okay. That's the little nippy nips that I'm talking about. Come here. You're fine, my love. Surprise though, hey? Which one's the one that I want for you? Four, five, three. Be this one then, four. Okay, my love. Um, and you know, she doesn't want to bite me. That um, pulled on her hair or hit her skin in a way that was not very pleasant for her. So understandably, she was a little bit unhappy about that. However, she's on edge now. However, that's bound to happen for the rest of the grooming. Um, while I move through getting all those prickles out, some of them are gonna pull and be somewhat uncomfortable for her. So, the chance that she will bite me is pretty high. Just because it doesn't feel very nice. There you go. Take this guy off. Um, and as you can see, that soaks up a lot of moisture. I'm not gonna blow dry here because there's no point. It will be dry by the time we're done. Pop your nose in there. Thank you, my love. Um, so, I mean, a little bit silly. This is not gonna be the best fit for her. But somehow I'm missing a muzzle. I don't know where it is. So we're just gonna move on and get this done. Maybe it's in the wash. I think it's in the wash. There you go. Behind her ears. So you can still move. She's got plenty of room in here. Um, and pop this guy back on because that will slow down her attacks if she comes at me again. Now, she is on edge. We have a feel through here. Okay, so there's mats in there. That would have been uncomfortable for her. So if she wasn't so sketchy about this, I could just brush these out with a dematting tool maybe. But with how reactive she is, I don't want to put great big blades near her booty in case she jumps and gets hurt. But uh, dematting tool. Hey, hey, hey. No, thank you. No, thank you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten. Stop that please, Pip. Ten little razor blades. No, no bubba. Stop. We're not doing that, we're just chilling. Oh yeah, so they're all razor blades that will just cut through. Ma'am, excuse me. Pip, hey, hi, hello. Hello, what are you doing? Can you do me a calm down please, Pip? Hey, let's calm down please. Not, we don't need to do this, it's silly, okay? We don't need to do that. All right, my darling, come here.
she's probably going to get snappy here as well, um, which is just super normal. Doggies are sensitive about their booties. Um, don't mind me jumping, I always do. Like, I don't watch horror movies. Jump scares are too much for me. I'm a big baby. Okay. Tail is a messy mess. Just me. Passing through. Don't get mad at me, alright, lovey? Okay. This tail is actually a mess mess. She's gonna get super mad with me. Alright, honey. It's okay, just chill. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Ba, 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 ba. Hey, baby. How you doing? You hanging in there? Good girl. Good job, baby. So I'm trying to support so that it's not actually pulling her, but it, that's hard to do. And then near the butthole here is super sensitive. When those hairs pull, it hurts. So I try to be as gentle as I can. Good job, honey. You're doing great. Good girl. Good girl, Pip. And the tip of the tail seems to be really sensitive too. Oh, yep, see? Very sensitive. Which, so those prickles are coming out and some dead hairs coming out. I'm not gonna get that all the way done on this side. You're okay, my love. Good girl. Well done, Baba. This'll not be as gentle as I want it to be, but it's a good start. Good job, honeycans. Okay, okay. It's, I know. It's okay though, you're doing such a good job. No, no. No. No, we're not going to be doing that, thank you. We've just got to get these last little bits from here, which I know aren't the nicest. I know, I know. I'm sorry. That's pretty good for this side. We'll come back to that. Okay, so now we're just going to... So if my comb goes through, it means we've got all the undercoat out and the shed and the prickles. If it doesn't go through, it means we've got some work to do. Um, this will probably peer off, but just make sure there's no prickles in there. Okie dokie. My batteries went flat. Put this back on my little noggin. Which is a little noggin. I am tell you that because these head, this GoPro head strap doesn't fit my head. Which is a little bit frustrating. Alright darling, I'm going to bring you back over here. Let me have a feel. Okay, so we do have a big old prickle there. That's it really. We should be able to just get that. Now, don't jump me, all right? Because it scares me and I'm a baby. Good girl. Okay, so like somebody's already cut her feathers at home. Mum or dad or whatever, not me. Sorry, I'm just feeling in her leg for any prickles. There's a mat here that I don't like. Just me, darling. Mm, this might upset her a little bit, but we'll give it a go. There we go. See that? Not worth brushing out. It's on the inside of her leg. We just take it out. It's never enough room in these places. Just kidding, I built this salon. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing. Just kind of angling myself so I'm not at risk. There we go. It's a little bit tidier, isn't it? Okay. So I haven't done much, just clean that up a little bit, just so it's looking a little bit better when she goes home. That's all. Okay, let's have a look here. You just got my comb now, honeykins. Okay, so you can see the comb's going through quite nicely. I'm just going to pull her back a little bit here. It's okay. I got you, Bubba. Oop, you scared me. I thought you were going to go then. Okay, that looks good. Mm. 
I know, you're okay. Alright. That looks beautiful. I'm happy with that. I am, however, just going to hazard a tidy up of a little butt. Not much. little tidier. Excuse me. Don't put the knotty tail in front of the not knotty hairs. I would love to tidy up her little grinchy feet but that's not going to happen. Um, she would be at more risk of being injured than anything else. The outcome does not outweigh the risk. So we're just not gonna do it, at least not today. I mean, if she were to come in for regular grooming, I have no doubts that we could work with her and have her really comfortable with this whole process, but we'll have to see what happens there. Okay, so this side I'm happy with. I'm not gonna do anything with the little head, but I am going to take this off here and put it here. So I'm gonna turn her around, um, but I'm gonna keep her contained because she might just wanna jump straight off the table the second she notices she can. Spin this one around this way. Come on, good girl. And I don't like using the longer one there, but my choices are limited. Tighten that up. Let's do a swapperoo, just because that's what I want to do. Put that through there. There we go. So you can see here my setup is designed to help me um, and assist in securing doggies on all sorts of angles uh, because it is really super common for me to groom doggies that are a little bit upset with me. So now we're going to come to this side. We already know she's going to be a bit jumpy. This is not my preferred side because I don't work on this angle as well as the other side. Good girl, Baba. Good girl. Shut your brave Baba. Just be nice and gentle there. Good girl, darling. Good girl. Well done, Baba. Isn't she so brave? Well done, my love. Now, I do need to hurry up because my battery is going to go flat and it's the last one I have because this is a very new setup. My husband bought it for me for Christmas. It arrived yesterday after Christmas. Gotta love husbands. Um, and I don't, I haven't ordered spare batteries, so I only have the two for now. Okay, let's get this tail sorted out. So this is the part that she doesn't like the most. So we will try and do it as nicely as possible. Good girl, Baba. Good, I know, Pip. I'm sorry, my love, but it has to be done. All right, you're doing great. I take it easy. Good girl, Pip. Good girl. I know. You're okay. I can hear you, my love. I'm listening. We take it gentle and easy. Good girl, Pip. Those are the worst right there. I know, I know, I know. Once it's done, you're going to be so beautiful and floofy again. Hang on, darling. Good girl. Hold him there. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Good girl. Good girl. I know. I know you're anxious. I'm listening. All right. That's pretty good, I reckon. Oh, I have an itchy nose. See how we went. Get the rest of that out this way. I know, I know. There's still a little pull there. No, Baba. No, no. Okay, let's calm down. 
Let's calm down. Good girl, Pip. Okay, you've done a great job and it's nearly all done there. And you don't have to be mad at me anymore. You've got a stick in your butt. Yes. A yeah, little stick. Curly whirly stick. What is that? Who knows? Let's have a look. Did we get it? Good girl. Good girl. Okay. Yep. There's still a little... Oh. There. Look. It's good. It's good. It's good. That's it. You did it. Alright. So again, I'm just working behind her. I'm not in front of her, coming at her. Um, this just... I don't know. I don't know if it's just like out of sight. They don't really go for the attack or whatever. Who knows? She's just happier to do it this way. If I was standing in front of her, she'd be a bit growly with me. And I don't like having cranky dogs. Sorry, my love. I was just making sure there's no prickles in there. There is in here, though. There we go. So I'm just using the comb to just kind of tease out what I can. Don't always win with that. Uh-uh. No, no. So you can probably tell I don't push my luck with my doggies if I don't have to. I like to build up a trusting relationship with them and make them feel comfortable so that when they come back next time, they don't want to rip my face off the second they see me. They trust me a bit more and we can get further with them. Isn't that right, Pip? Hey? Good girl. Such a good baby. Yes, can I put this up here? Up. Oh, yeah, I know, you've got some tangles there. So that looks pretty good. You stay there. There's no prickles in there. There's no mats or knots in that part. It's just going to be around her head. That will be the trickiest. I don't know if she'll snap when I get behind her ears or try to clip her any mats out. We'll just have to see what happens. And this bit here. So I'm going to bring her back to me. Pop this down. All right, my love, that is time. Pop that back there. And put a little spiff. Make you a little bit pretty. Hopefully it doesn't upset your sister. Hey. Okay, I'm super happy with that. We will have a look at her noggin now. Hey. Good girl. So we take that off. Add it to my collection of things I need to clean up today. Hi. Hi, Pip. You're okay. Calm down. It's pretty good so far. Okay, she's weary, but she's not carrying on. What I do know is that these little ear mats, they jump up on you and you don't know they're there until you yank it and a dog tries to bite your face off. So, go nice and slow. What a good girl you are. All right, yeah, there's a little tangle in there. We just... It doesn't want to come out nicely. Such a good bubba. Okay, you go. There you go, that's the last of that shed that just needed to come out of there. And you, my love look amazing get rid of that all right i am going to use this blow dryer to blow the table off real quick sorry i know it's not nice to be suddenly surprised like that okay there we go she looks pretty good Hey, hey, who's a pretty baby? <gasps> yes, such a pretty baby. Let's let you down out of some of these little fun bits. Hey, it's going to be your sister's turn for a bath and my batteries are flat and she's the one that's more anxious. She's the more anxious puppy. What are you doing? I know, I'm going to take it off. Just give me a second. Just give me a second. I don't know which one's in front anymore. There we go. Did you do such a good job, huh? Yes, you did. Did you do such a good job? Yeah. Such a good baby. Hey? Hands. Good girl. 
How are you feeling? Super fresh? Hey, let's have a look at you. <gasps> Hi. You're so pretty. Yes, you are, ma'am. You want to do me a sit? Okay, sit. Sit. <gasps> Pip! <gasps> Hi! Ooh. Yes, it will. Okay, my good girl. Should we let you down then? Say bye, everybody. Bye! Okie dokie. That was Pip's groom. I am Kylie, the groomer from Ferology Riverland Pet Grooming. Uh, please um, do me a favour. Please subscribe, hit the like button, make a comment. All of it helps um, to grow this channel, which is what I'm trying to do. If you'd like to see any um, specific types of videos, let me know and I'll see if I can make something up for you. Otherwise, have a fantastic day and we will see you next time.